All right, guys. So it is 12:35 a.m. and I actually just got back from Walmart because I needed groceries. And pretty much the only place that's open around here, at like midnight, is Walmart. So I was shopping, and I was like halfway done with my shopping. Actually, not even halfway done. And uh, I saw this guy. I was by the like the cheeses. I was getting <laughs> string cheese, and this guy was like staring at me. And I was like, uh, okay, maybe he, like knows me from somewhere since I don't know, like high school or something and uh so finally after like staring at me for a minute he like comes up to me and he's like are you the new boston and i was like oh uh, yeah <laughs> and it's always weird when like people come up to me because i guess uh like quite a few people watch my tutorials but it never shows my face so i don't even know how people know what i look like but anyways it was kind of weird because i never i don't know i just never know what to say <laughs> and also at the time, the only thing I had in my cart was ground beef and toilet paper, so he probably thinks I'm pretty weird now. But anyways, on with the tutorial, where we're going to be talking about sets. So, what a set is, it's, think of it pretty much like a collection of items, but it can't have any duplicates like a list can. So, I'll show you guys with groceries, since, well, it's on my mind. Can you spell that right? hopefully alright so in order to make a set it's gonna look kinda like a list except you use these curly braces right here and let me put a couple things in here so cereal for some reason my pie charm seems like it's uh ugh, it seems like it's lagging a little bit alright so cereal milk I got some star crunches too. I'm addicted to those things. However, when it's really hot out outside, if you ever eat a star crunch, they taste disgusting, which is really weird. All right, so so we got some beer, or we have to get beer, whatever this grocery list is for. Um, duct tape. What else is usually on my list? Lotion. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add beer again. Now, remember that I told you that what we did right here is we made something called a set that's what this is however it can't have any duplicates now if you notice we have beer right here and also beer right here twice so what happens is whenever we print this out print groceries check it out it prints everything on our list however it only prints beer once pretty cool so again this is actually helpful whenever you make something like a grocery list or any set where it's pretty much useless to have the same item twice so I'll show you guys say we actually were making a program where we're printing out a grocery list for like I don't know maybe we're making an app where we can store a grocery list online and we can look at it on our smartphone That's actually a pretty good idea anyways uh, we'll say if milk and there's some actually um, some cool things that you can do with sets in if I can spell in groceries so this condition right here is gonna return true if indeed milk is in groceries which it is right now so we'll say print um, just something like you already have a uh, milk cost so we'll check pretty much if we're if we already have the item in there if we do no need to add it again so else um print something like oh yeah you need milk like a little reminder I don't know first thing that popped into my head so of course we run this and it says you already have milk cost so again that that is pretty much what a set is and that's one um small thing that you can do with a set. You can check if an item is indeed in it, just like you would a list. However, in later tutorials, whenever we are building like a little um, more advanced programs, I'll show you guys some other things that you can do with sets and how they are incredibly useful. But for now, um, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you later.